Hello and welcome. Based on the climate engineering argument map, this movie introduces the arguments pro-deployment of climate engineering methods. More precisely, the arguments we are going to have a closer look at warrant the claim that CE methods should be ready for deployment. That is, they support a basic premise of the central R&D justification, namely thesis T2. There are three distinct and independent lines of reasoning that support T2. Arguments from efficiency and ease of implementation. Arguments that refer to ambitious, far-reaching climate targets. And the lesser evil argumentation. Within the first line of reasoning, arguments from efficiency and ease of implementation, it is argued that CE methods allow for avoiding climate change without changing lifestyles, habits and the current mode of our economy, A41. It is argued, in addition, that climate engineering, as opposed to CO2 reductions, can effectively de be deployed by a few countries, a40. And finally, it is argued that climate engineering is a significantly more efficient way for combating climate change than mitigation measures. A39. Especially the last argument, which relies on economic cost benefit analysis, has been criticized extensively in the debate, as shown by the yellow attacking arguments. A second independent line of reasoning which warrants the claim that CE methods should be ready for deployment stresses that ambitious climate targets cannot be achieved by mitigation measures alone, that is, without climate engineering. The argumentation shown here spells out this kind of reasoning with respect to the goal of reducing the atmospheric CO2 concentration to 350 ppm. However, the argument could be equally developed with regard to the 2 degree target. Finally, a third line of reasoning in favor of having CE ready for deployment pictures a possible future climate emergency. If climate sensitivity is high, or if we fail to reduce CO2 emissions, we might face in a few decades a situation where either CE methods are deployed or uncompensated catastrophic climate change unfolds. In such a situation, argument A23 reasons, CE deployment might be the lesser of two evils. And that's why it is right to have CE methods ready for deployment. Parallel to A23, the climate emergency reasoning is also advanced as an argument from analogy, A30. It compares future Earth to a terminally ill patient. The climate emergency arguments are backed up by different, more detailed reasons, but they also face a couple of objections. Note in particular counter-argument A26, which stresses possibly catastrophic side effects of a future CE deployment. This objection relies on the claim that now, as well as in the future, CE might worsen climate impacts rather than alleviating them. Let's wrap up. We have three independent lines of argumentation in favor of claim T2 readiness for deployment. One, two, and three. You don't have to subscribe to all of these reasons if you accept T2. However, in case you deny that CE methods should be ready for deployment, you are compelled, for reasons of consistency, to refute each and every of the arguments pro-readiness for deployment presented before.
Thank you very much for your attention.